Hello! Today I would like to show you something really useful, which is how to produce your own dry yeast that you can keep the whole year and use for baking bread. And all you need is fresh grapes and some bran. So now on the northern hemisphere is exactly the right time to make your yeast for the year. This is a recipe um, that has been written down by Pliny the Elder. Pliny the Elder was a writer and natural historian and politician who um, lived in the first century AD. And um, he wrote about many things, but one of the things he pinned down is this recipe. And it's actually fairly easy. I have here about uh, 250 grams of fresh grapes. You have to do it with fresh grapes because the yeast that we want to preserve sits on the skin. So we basically take those and simply brush them with everything on it. batch voilà. until all the grapes are smashed We strain this, the juice, squeeze it on a little more. The yeast will go now with this squeezing process into the juice. We don't want those pieces. And now all we need to do is to wait three days. We cover this with a piece of cloth, but oxygen should get through. And we leave this to ferment for three days. It's the same process as in winemaking that also uses the yeast from the grape skin to start fermentation. Of course, in winemaking, just to make sure that it ferments the right way, also wine yeast is added additionally. We don't need that here though. It's three days later now and the grape juice has fermented nicely. I can mm, smell it, it smells of young wine. And I put this into a bowl, it's about one cup. And I put about the same amount of bran into it. Should become a firm paste. I need some more. Exactly. I need that with my hands. And now I make small lumps of it and I put them to dry out in the sun. If you do not have good sun available at home, you can always, always dry in the oven at lowest temperature with the oven door a little bit ajar. That also works for drying stuff.
and leave it to dry. So that's how the dry yeast looks once it's dried in these little lumps and you can store them away in a glass. And uh, well, I've been trying it with the bread and uh, I must admit when I set up, started the dough yesterday, they weren't completely dry yet. So they were still a little moist inside, but it worked extraordinarily well. The dough and the bread rose more than I was expecting. Now I have no idea how long uh, they will keep. If, if I store them for a long time, if they will really keep their ability to raise the dough. But uh, well, it's just worth a try and uh, I will keep you up to date. I try again in a month and then again in a couple of months. And uh, yeah, if it works, I will let you know.